Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disorder of the brain which predominantly affects older people. Average age of onset is about 60 to 65 years. It is a relatively common disease which affects about 1 to 2 million of Americans. The major uh, signs of uh, Parkinson's disease is tremor, a predominantly resting tremor, which affects usually one side of the body, a hand, fingers, leg, or toes. And then other signs include slowness of movements, that we call bradykinesia, muscle stiffness, which we call rigidity, impairment of uh, balance, uh, falling, as well as many uh, smaller signs such as micrographia, small writing, drooling, uh, reduced facial expressions, reduced blinking, stooped posture, as well as many non-motor features such as constipation, uh, problems with sweating, uh, problems with maintaining weight, and many others. About 10 to 20 percent of patients with Parkinson's disease will report positive family history, meaning having other family members afflicted by Parkinson's disease or uh, some sort of other uh, similar uh, disorder. There are about five uh, genes that are definitely proven to play the role uh, in uh, causation of Parkinson's disease. Uh, three of them are autosomal recessive and two of them are autosomal dominant. Among them, the most common gene is LARC2, uh, which is autosomal dominant gene, affects generation after generation, and probably this gene uh, for uh, Caucasian people, for white people, uh, it occurs in about 1% of cases of Parkinson's disease. For other populations and ethnicities may uh, play even more important role reaching 30% of patients with Parkinson's disease in this uh, special groups. The latest study has identified a new genetic form of inherited Parkinson's disease. It's a very important finding and what it does is it shows us another cause, another underlying genetic cause of the disorder. What we have used is a new technology that has allowed us to capture all the coding uh, regions of the genome in each individual. About 1% of the 3 billion letters in the genome actually encodes the proteins that are produced. We were able to capture that 1% in two cousins from a large Swiss family where there was a dominant inherited form of Parkinson's disease. By sequencing those two individuals, we were able to identify a variant within one of the genes, the new gene BPS35, that co-segregated with the affected individuals within the family. This mutation and this new protein suggests that the pathway in which it is involved, and it's involved in recycling proteins within the cell, and it suggests that disruption of this normal function and this, and this normal cell pathway is what's causing the, the Parkinson's disease within this family. The Parkinson's disease within this family is inherited, but it is typical and indistinguishable from normal sporadic Parkinson's disease. The age of onset is about 10 years earlier. It's about 50 years on average, but that can range from anywhere from 46 years to 64 years within the Swiss family that were studied. So this uh, pathway, and although the actual genetic mutation is quite rare within populations, this pathway and this mutation gives us a new insight into some of the disease mechanisms underlying the clinical phenotype and hopefully will give us a new target for therapy. We are now entering an era of individualized medicine. This is where each patient is treated as an individual rather than grouping them within the, the name of the disease. With each individualized medicine approach, what we want to get at is the underlying genomic profile for each patient and how can we tailor therapy and 
dose of therapy to that individual patient. This finding is a new genetic form of Parkinson's disease. So we can now target therapies directed to those patients that carry this de defined form of par genetic form of Parkinson's disease and hopefully be able to tailor a therapy that individually treats that patient and may have relevance to other uh, sporadic disease patients as well. We hope to find uh, more genes. Uh, our collection of uh, specimens and families at the Mayo Clinic is very large. We have about 800 families that we follow and we have about 20,000 uh, blood specimens collected from uh, these uh, patients and families. And about 5 to 10 percent of families or specimens have identified genes. That means that most of these families, uh, we do not know the gene for them. So the first step will be to identify new genes. Every gene, every newly identified gene brings us closer to understanding uh, the etiology, causation of Parkinson's disease. And that means this brings us closer uh, to potential curative treatments which will be forthcoming through these important genetic discoveries. Patients can also benefit from appropriate genetic counseling uh, and prognostication by uh, knowing uh, that they are gene carriers. Uh, for many of these genes, it is uh, somewhat difficult, uh, nevertheless uh, quite possible. These studies would not have been possible without the, our many collaborators throughout the world and, and particularly in Switzerland where their original family was found. Also without the generosity of both the patients and the healthy control subjects who agree to participate in these important genetic studies who, who really drive much of our research here at the Mayo Clinic in Florida. And if any members of the public or anybody would like to participate within uh, genetic studies here at the Mayo Clinic, they can contact us through the Mayo Clinic website. Our contact details are available.